Uh, my name is Pat Horn. I'm an orthopedic surgeon. Uh, we're in Tampa, Florida. Uh, we're in a practice, West Chase Orthopedics, which I founded 17 years ago after I got out of the military. Uh, I am an orthopedic surgeon. I have two boards. I have a board certification in orthopedics. I also have a board certification in sports medicine. So I spend half of my time reconstructing joints and half of my time doing arthroscopic procedures to try to prevent reconstructions. See uh, two groups of patients. One group are the athletic patients, people who have sports injuries. Um, and then the other group is the consequence of those sports injuries 10 to 15 years later, when your knee or your shoulder is starting to fail you and you're trying to prevent a replacement or you're even at the point that you need a replacement. So it's, it's a bimodal practice for ages. We have a great active population here. You live longer when you're down here. You know, when we're talking about putting stem cells in somebody who's 60, that's young in Florida, and you are expected to stay physically active. And, but I think it's, it's an ideal community for orthopedics, and it's an ideal community to keep people active, uh, and it's beautiful. Uh, through this clinic, we run uh, a, about a thousand patients a month come through this clinic between us and physical therapy. Everyone sees me. It's a surgeon-driven practice. And then everyone else is here to really assist the plan between, between myself and the patient. Uh, and then uh, down the road, we have West Chase Surgical Center, which is a freestanding uh, uh, outpatient surgical center that has four operating rooms. You know, we just added ultrasound guidance and those things for the next five years. I think that will become uh, important. I think what you're going to see is you're going to see more of the uh, diagnostic nephroscopy and more of the arthroscopic stuff and less of the replacement stuff. And I think we'll see more and more of the stem cells. And I think as people become comfortable with it, I think we'll, we'll see that and, and we'll see people expecting that in their treatment algorithm, where right now they're they're, they're surprised by it, but I, I think it'll, be, it'll start to become an expectation. And I, I, if we can get less time in the hospital and more time other places, I think that's, that, that's great for the patient and it's great for the surgeon too.